What is up? What is up? Welcome to episode 880 of the DCC podcast. Welcome to all our new listeners, all our new viewers. Um, a lot of a lot of changes coming real, real soon. Keep your eye on it. We're going to be making a lot of changes. We're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, just to make things more exciting, just to draw more viewers and you know get everybody in tune to what we got going on here. Um, before we get started on what the show is going to get into for this episode... I want to start off with our promos and uh, items we offer for sale here. Shop Glow Newt. So I want you guys to head on over to the website at www.shopglownewt.com. 100% organic, black-owned products, all natural ingredients. Also visit us on Instagram at glow.newt. Word up. Word to black-owned businesses. <laughs> <laughs> Word, right? And first of all, um, black people have owned businesses before 2020, right? <laughs> it's not true. a new thing, right? It's not a new thing. You know what's crazy that I uh, honestly was thinking about? From watching all these commercials as a kid and growing up, you don't see any black person in them. I know. Not only that, they don't cater to black skin. Mm -hmm. So I feel like... Shout outs to all the black people that are in skincare, that are in hair care or whatever it is, because white people don't make shit for us. <laughs> and all those fruit teas commercials. Yeah. Garnier <laughs> and all that shit. Nah, that shit's not for us. Our hair is clearly different. Like when you put that shit in your head, you it looks fucking crazy. Like the whole black community uh pretty much uses Irish Spring. You see all those Irish Spring commercials, not a single black person in them. So I feel like you should really help i mean you are um help get black people and people of you know i mean our community recognized in these fields so we can have the younger ones the younger generation look right up, you know what i mean look up to what i rather everybody buy my soap and my soap replace irish spring because to be honest guys Irish Spring does not do no good for your skin <laughs> like absolutely no good for your skin mm, that was good though that was good. It smells good. It smells good. It smells good. That's why I said it. It That's smells it. good. I don't know what else it's doing to people's skin. <laughs> <laughs> I have regular skin. <laughs> regular human skin. I'll ones. just leave it at this. Shop Glow Nude, guys. If you Definitely. want something organic, yeah. if you want something refreshing, if you want something reviving, yeah. Shop Glow Nude. Big facts. Um, let's dive right into it. Um, let's start with what everybody's more, most, this happens all the time. Let's start with what everybody's obsessed with, Squid Game, right? If you haven't started watching Squid Game by now, bravo, we're happy to you. You are against being influenced, and you are not one to be peer pressured. I fall into that category because I have been tempted to watch it, but I haven't watched it. Um, part of the reason why I, I'm not watching it is because I don't want to. So there's that. Same. And... You have something to say? Yeah. Um. What the fuck is everybody doing? Like, I, I honestly almost feel like this is just a ploy to get everybody like on some sort of mind control. Cause legit, every single person on this planet has seen Squid Games. Mm -hmm. It's a nonstop talk of the town. <laughs> I've never seen it, but I know one hundred percent what this show is about. I've never seen it, and and and. I, my reason for not watching it is the same as yours because I want to. I don't want to one and two. <laughs> it's that simple. I don't feel like we need to capitalize off. Although it's just a show, I don't feel like we need to capitalize off people killing each other for money. Yes, like what the fuck? How many times have we seen that? Mm -hmm. Hello, we're or living in it. Or cash prizes, or come on, whatever they say they're gonna you're gonna get at the end. Um, it's giving me very much Hunger Games vibes. Right. I'm getting a lot of like, man, the rich people watching poor people fight for their lives vibes. Remember, I told y'all. So I feel Hunger like Games. I feel like it's making you get used to at least psychologically. Yes, exactly. Fighting, fighting for money or crabs like killing, in a barrel behavior. Killing for money, which we're already kind of doing in a sense. But um, I mean, 
shout outs to the writers because you know I'm always gonna support the creatives. Shout outs to the writers making that big bag. They said he suffered before, you know what I mean, landing this Netflix gig. He was turned down. So shout outs to um, you know what I mean the project as a whole and everybody involved in it. But the premise and what it's about. Trash. I, I, yeah, I don't really like that. Yeah, shout um, out to consumerism. <laughs> but yeah, they're winning and everybody in the cast is becoming super popular, especially the main character girl. Is that the she, old man? No. No, I'm talking about the girl. Oh. Like she, she, her following grew like overnight, like crazy. I don't um, know. I, I, like I can't even begin to tell you guys what it's about. Like I don't. I've never, never seen it. So. I've never seen a full episode. All I've all I've gotten was shit from Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And that big baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing red light, green light. Green track suits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I know. I don't know nothing else about this fucking show. Yeah, yeah nothing yeah. else. But it's everywhere, so you know we gotta talk about it when it happens. But um, yeah, Squid Game, Netflix on Netflix. Um, sticking on the path of Netflix, we want to get this out the way. You said um, Dave Chappelle wants to address the employees that are now on strike, uh, the LGBTQA um, employees that are now on strike at Netflix due to his latest special. Before you say anything, I want to say that um, I don't, f I don't f personally. Personally, opinion, I don't feel like Dave did anything wrong. And when you're when you're speaking your mind, I know a lot of people might, might not agree with you. But when it comes down to what you're saying and you're not offending anybody and then you're now still being like, you know what I mean, people aren't agreeing with you. I feel like at the end of the day, um, you just can't do anything about that. And I feel like um, Dave Chappelle should stick to what he said because it wasn't anything harmful and anybody who's really have any problem with it I feel like it's more of a reflective process for you to really think about what you're upset about because you know I mean if you've seen the special you know what he's talking about you know what the driving force of what he's dealing with or everyone who's dealt with anything with that community um, I don't feel like anything was said wrong some have said some wrong stuff but Dave particularly I, I stand with him and um, I don't feel like he did anything wrong. And to the people that are saying you didn't watch it but you're offended, grow up. <laughs> like, for real, grow up. I feel like people, like a back to the American people mindset, they have such an entitled way about things and everything is just my, my way, my way that they don't know any other bounds. So I don't even blame them. I just, I, I feel sorry for them because it's like you're that much of a brat and that you're willing to throw temper tantrum unpaid temper tantrum <laughs> so, like you're sick yeah they're really sick like the, i'm not gonna lie the lgbtq plus community is really sick i feel like they really need help as far as like psychological help because it's never about them being offended you know what I'm saying? I feel like they preach so much about acceptance and I feel that's all they want. But I feel like they, they the way that they're seeing things is totally skewed. No one's telling you you can't be gay. Mm -hmm. Just understand that when you're doing something, you're not in your own world that people are going to have an opinion. And you cannot tell every single person to shut up or not say anything. And as far as I'm concerned or everybody else is concerned, no one else is offended. Yeah. Everybody else is agree. Like I've legit heard so many people talk about it, and nobody else is saying, "Oh, they should Netflix should take it out." You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like he really said anything crazy. Like, but you everybody's special, saying he didn't that. Say anything crazy at all? Like at all? Like it's crazy. <laughs> They're just miserable. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's an uphill battle with you know those you can't really battle. Yeah. But um, uh, moving on. I want to talk about uh, movie series since we're in TV and all that stuff. I feel like the whole film industry is at a standstill. And what I mean by that is if it's not a, a Marvel chapter one, season three, four, whatever, or it's not a sequel here and there, or they want to bring something back from the 90s, I feel like the film industry right now is at a standstill creatively. You know what I mean? It's it's sequels all day or part twos of this or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I feel like we need a, a completely rebrand 
the entire film film industry because everything is just so whack right now. It's it's all sequels too, you know what I mean? That and I don't feel like um the audience will know or want to digest anything else. You feel like that's what's driving sales right now, something that's a sequel? Yeah. Okay. Cause think about niggas watch a movie and then they're like, Oh my god, I just wanna see it again. Well here's the sequel. And okay. they and people are always talking so about it's how the, it's the fans doing it. Yeah, and people are always talking about how they miss shit from the past. So I get why the writers don't really have anything else. It's either it's like the Halloween movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how it's how, like the eighth one. <laughs> how <laughs> the nigga moved dumb slow. He kills everybody. That same bitch. It's yeah. like yo. It's either kill her or just stop. Yeah, like, yeah, cause yeah. I don't, I don't fucking get it at this point. So, I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't think they, they have a choice, really. I feel like you should be open to want to explore different types of creative paths. You know what I mean? Unless they like get- Crazy Rich Asians. Like when that came out, I was like, wow, what a completely different way to shoot a movie. You know what I mean? Like just, just something that's completely fresh. Work with foreigners, cause look at Netflix. You know what I mean? I feel like just bringing a fresh new idea right. to the film industry would always work. Like if they give, you know, young people, young creators a chance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See what they have to say. Because you're right. It's the same people doing the same boring old shit. Over and over again. And apparently you is not all that great. You? What is this? The third season now, right? I, I think it's so, the yeah. third season because mm-hmm. I watched some of the second season. Um, I don't know. Like... This another this shit. This is another one that I just chose not to watch that everybody else is watching. But um I, I'm not a big fan of the premise of it. Like he obviously kills people. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a lot of kill people vibes. That's the know. thing, and it brings me to the next thing to say that is this enticing certain behaviors in men? Because they feel like that's what women want. You know? Some obsessive type dude. The obsessive, in love, crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> Crazy in love. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, it's getting a lot of women killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so, true. That is true. I I don't I don't know where what these shows are doing or where they're going with it, but it's looking like a very, very dark path, to be honest. Especially on Netflix. Yes. So I don't know. That's why I can't watch TV, to be honest. I can't, I I really can't subscribe to TV. It puts me in a weird place of shit being worse than it actually is. You know what I'm saying? With these shows, because they're, like, honestly, I don't know if anybody else feels it, but every time I watch a show that's like, like a you or Squid Games or something relating in that killy killy path, I just feel like in like a weird place. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost it's like I'm... Like, you're putting yourself in that yeah and like like i don't know if anybody has ever when you watch bad girls club you feel riled up like you want to like fight somebody <laughs> yeah, you know what i'm saying like yeah. that's the type of mood that i'm talking about that's why i, I gotta stay off of tv mm-hmm. i don't feel like it does me any good so i can't i can't subscribe to it it's like in z- anxiety enticing yes that's exactly what it is it's like it's making you feel like you gotta do something or you gotta be on guard Mm-hmm. And that's not what you should be getting out of entertainment. Yeah, I don't. Like I'm, I'm not, not entertained. entertained. I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm. I'm no <laughs> I'm a, longer I'm afraid. entertained. Like what happens to the like the the best of both worlds, and you can be anything that you want to be. Now I just feel like it's heading down such a dark. Yeah. Like even the little kid shows. Like I feel like they're subliminally adding little dark shit in that as well. And mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm just not a fan. We don't know where TV is going, but we're afraid it's not a good place. Yeah. But um, we're going to go ahead and take a break right here. This is a beat by me, J Degrees. Enjoy. All right. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. You know what I mean? I put some thought into me making beats. So, you know what I mean? For you guys to get a little snippet, I feel like you should should enjoy it. But um, let's go into the madness that's going on. Um, apparently, the Haitian gangs, or there's a, ha- a Haitian gang that have mercenaries from America and Canada hostage, and they're asking for money. That is 100% true. I did not make that up. Yeah, they asking for $17 million. What's the name of the gang? Uh, 400 Mawozo. <laughs> That's actually not funny. Let me stop I, that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just laugh on 
on the man like yeah. it's like typing a message to say lol just because but um, but um why were you guys going to haiti one and two yeah i was nigg- literally whipping these niggas oh what to I didn't, not I didn't know that. come into the country remember we reported on it yeah, yeah. these niggas was on horses whipping the haitians yeah. right so why would you go there yeah why would you go to haiti uh, you kind of want to stay away from haiti if you Got that type of behavior, so I don't, I don't know. Um, pr- I guess pray for who needs to be prayed for pray in for this the situation. Uh, what, whatever they mercenaries, are, mercenaries. Mercenary. Are they missionaries? What's a missionary? What's the a guess? person who pretty much goes to try to like help people the in the arms, nah, nah. like that type of yeah. Y'all need y'all need to be captured. <laughs> pretty much like you do not need your help. <laughs> so yeah, um. Yes, yeah, sixteen American and Canadian missionaries while they were at home. I thought it was while, while they were at a Haitian airport on their way home. Damn. So yeah. They ain't even do nothing. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> they asking Pray the for the missionaries. are asking for one million each before they are released. Yeah, you, you... I guess one million per person. <laughs> So let's keep sick. Nah, let's keep up with this because we don't know what's gonna happen because you know how America feels about dealing with terrorizers. I don't wanna say terrorists. I want to say terrorizers. So let's let's keep let's keep track of this. Um, along the lines of I guess not so lit news, we had a female killed. It's not even her boyfriend, not even her man. Random dude, right? He already had a girlfriend. She kills this guy for not giving her a kiss. The story was she wanted a kiss, right? He said no. Went to kiss his girl, as you do with your you know what I mean significant other. She was upset. Apparently he had a gun under his couch she reached for the gun asked for a kiss again he said no she pops him in his chest dude dies right so he died because he didn't want to kiss this person not to be insensitive that's crazy but that's woman's life period what Can women woman woman killing how people? many women have died because they just oh, simply you're saying, said okay. no I thought it. I thought I was thinking the other way around. Yeah. How this, many women that, has died? This doesn't happen. This case where it's the other way around. This is absolutely not. This is wildly ironic, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wildly ironic. All right, piece of that man. Mm-hmm. But but. Yeah, there are cases where like men have taken extreme steps to, you know, what I mean, try to get with a woman. I understand that, but I haven't seen it this way. You know what I mean? Like this is. Yeah. This is the retaliation. She's now she's sick in the head. She's sick in the head. Big facts. Because, like, again, why don't y'all know how to take rejection? <laughs> why? Someone yeah. tells you no, you move. It's, no means it, no. It's just a crazy concept to me because I don't feel like anybody in America knows the word no and knows how to take it. I legit be at work and I'm saying, oh, we don't have something, and niggas legit wild for respect. How could you not have this? <laughs> What is like like they almost go into like ultimate rage mode and I'm like uh, yo relax. Are you guys not accustomed to s- the no? Like I don't think so no. Cuz uh, um like you said a long time ago in one of the episodes, it's a coddled uh mindset. You know what I mean? Like when you once you're told yes your whole life when it comes to everything, you know, you're, you're giving awards just so everybody can feel good because everybody got an award everybody has a trophy you got supporting medals you got supporting trophies you're just like your whole life you're just giving what you want and that's everyone yeah. everyone here you know what i mean so the minute it is an opposing idea opposing thought or no it's just like no one knows how to take it you could be in a whole adult and this is your first time dealing with rejection so it's not good. You have to mold people in being able to handle rejection at a young age. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people here, especially adults, you have adults running the country who's never been rejected. Sick. It happened. You know what I mean? The last one. The mm-hmm. last guy who was in charge. <laughs> so, that buddy over there. <laughs> so it's it's a, it's a pattern. And um, yep. it's sad someone's life was lost. Sick All pattern. jokes aside. You know yeah. I mean? rest, rest in peace to that guy, man. Yeah, Sorry real. to his girlfriend, because that, that has to be fucking it's traumatizing. Sick. Very traumatizing. Sickening. But uh, moving on, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we kind of have to. Uh, <laughs> 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 we would have to. Uh, I want to talk about open relationships, right? Uh, and what everybody feels about open relationships. Uh, let me put it like this. I feel if you have to bring about 
the topic or come to your significant other and be like, yo, I want to try out this whole open relationship thing. Guy or girl, I feel like, I don't know, For you him. might not understand <laughs> what a relationship is. Because it's, it's cool, you know what I mean, for a movie with Ashton Kutcher and, uh, you know what I mean, Mila Kunis. Word. Uh, but it's not an ideal thing, realistically, because you're, you're, like, giving half of yourself to a full person. Like, this isn't a half person. You're not giving half of yourself to another half person. You're giving half of yourself to a full person, and then you're giving another half of yourself to another full person. So you're not really fully involved in anything. In anybody. I feel like every day the goalposts move as to what's really what. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but you spread yourself like you're, you're sleeping with a whole bunch of people. Okay. You're not a hoe, right? You're sexually liberated. Yeah, that's what they say. But what's a hoe? Uh, sexual liberation. It's, it's like, stop moving the goalposts and call these things what they are because yeah. you guys are, are afraid of judgment. Mm -hmm. You want to sleep with somebody else while sleeping with your boyfriend. That's not an open relationship. You're just grimy, mm -hmm. right? Stop trying to bridge these things. Stop trying to pretty them up. They, they are what they are. And I feel like once niggas realize these things, we would have a lot more honest and healthy relationships. You know what I'm saying? Just because you bring it to your person doesn't mean that you're being honest and open. Like, yeah. you know inside yourself that you don't necessarily want to share all yourself with this one person. So you're going to bridge it in a way that you're you're coming off open and understanding when you're really just trying to be a, a disgusting, toxic person. Or you, you're trying to have your cake and eat it too. Exactly. Exactly. And this morning I was, I was talking about um, strip clubs, right? Not a lot of strip clubs allow nudity. And I wanted to know if going to a nude strip club is considered cheating. Depends. Cause In what way? Why are you going, number one? Right. You know what I mean? All right, if you're going to the strip club to pay this naked person to what? Dance on you naked? 100 percent yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah but if you're just going to the strip club and there's pole dancing going on completely contactless i feel like when it comes to contact that's when it is you know what i mean but i mean a strip club alone <laughs> like i feel especially like a nude one you're and, you're in a relationship why do you need to see somebody else nude on yeah, a pole yeah buy your girlfriend a pole and ask her to dance yeah. that's sick and I feel like that's what we're dealing with here. Like these like little added things in situations where it's mad confusing and mad crazy. And we wonder why our generation is not like mentally healthy because <laughs> so many things are being thrown in yeah. into a simple game where all we have to do is live our life and live normally. God said, "Be fruitful and multiply." It's all niggas trying to add mad, mad factors. It's, like, it's, all, it's also like this is this is a, a time that's never been about like we're going forward. You know what I mean? In mm -hmm. the past, there's never been Facebooks, Twitters, and Instagrams. You know what I mean? Our parents and everything never had to compete with people online that were taking pictures with their legs to the back. So I feel like we're now facing issues that our past people in our past or parents or whatever never issued so a lot of bad things about humanity and how we go about relationships is coming to the forefront for everybody to see because now we can see everything well yeah but <laughs> listen to this if a little leg and a little piece of booty cheek <laughs> can really like change your mind about the person that you chose to be with you're even sick than sicker than the lgbtq plus like you're going crazy over a piece of leg and a thigh that's <laughs> pixelated yeah it's in high resolution on your fucking phone that means a lot to people though believe it or not you know what i mean like people go crazy over like instagram and shit like that mm -hmm. but once we dumb it down do you guys see what you were going crazy over yeah Imagine, the, real, the real people can imagine you're on your phone and you're scrolling on instagram and you're like damn that's a nice ass. Mm -hmm. And then in your mind, you're like, I'm going to cheat on my girlfriend because I saw a butt on Instagram. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what happens, though. I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> like I don't I don't <laughs> I'm just These people going crazy over social media and it's literally just on your phone. Like <laughs> it's some shit that's on your phone. I'm like flabbergasted. Like <laughs> New Times, man. I remember when the internet couldn't even go past a certain point. Like there was no free range. There was no free realm. Like it was legit just MSN. Like you couldn't go past certain things. Yeah. So to see that niggas is going crazy over shit like this, especially the cloud chase the clout chasers. I saw a girl dip butter in spaghetti sauce. Yeah. And said it was bussin'. Yeah. You're giving yourself high cholesterol because you want to go viral. That's nasty. But um, let's move on. We're getting <laughs> far off topic. <laughs> let's talk about verses. Apparently, verses is now charging a fee for certain types of verses. Like they're doing verses concerts, which is not it's not particular particularly like a battle. It's just like all right, this iconic artist is now performing. They did a versus and they charged people, and there were no pro promo belt behind it. I want to, I want, I want to know if that was why is because that they were charging people. So um, I want to, I want to say um, the future of versus is kind of looking slim because of changes that they're being yeah, made. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be. Because there was, there's, out. there was one with KRS One and Dad, Big Daddy Kane, two pillars of of hip hop. You know what I mean? People who really drove the forefront of hip hop. There was that happened and it was almost as if it didn't. You know what I mean? I ain't seen no reports of that there shit. There was there was not like everybody wasn't going crazy. So I feel like maybe the verses is kind of dwindling down. Down. I don't really want it to be, but it's looking that way. When you change the authenticity of something, then yeah, people are gonna stop fucking with it. Mm -hmm. Because why are you charging people one? And two, why are you... Well, I get why you're charging people. It was like a Wyclef one. So it was Wyclef and somebody else. What? And that wasn't... Yeah, they charged for that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just wow. It was like it was like on Fuse TV. They didn't have it on IGTV. It was like, yeah, you have to pay for this. Now they doing too much because, yeah. like, niggas will still support the verses without all this little bullshit. You know what I'm I saying? I know. But um, let's, let's dive into our music take. Do we have anything else? I'm not forgetting anything else, right? Our throwbacks. Oh, yes. Before we do that, let's talk about our throwbacks. Um, I want to talk about how everything came with a dance. Remember that? Remember, yeah. Remember, remember Crank That Soldier Boy? <laughs> but people still crank that Soldier Boy course, to this day. We'll forever crank that Soldier Boy. <laughs> All day. Um, we had Jerk. You know, everybody was jerking with the skinny Yo, jeans. <laughs> not, not that dance was hard as hell to learn at first. But now it took me a it. while, but I got it. I got it. <laughs> To this day, I can do it. <laughs> Where? <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Yo, sick. You know you can't do that dance to nothing else but that song. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. It had a short run. <laughs> um, <laughs> we had the lean with the rock with it. That was a Word. good one. That's an iconic one. Mm -hmm. And um, the was, Dougie. Remember the Dougie? Yeah, the Dougie was good. There was there was so much. Cat Daddy. The Cat Daddy. <laughs> All the Jersey Club dances. Word. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> get, get your sexy one. <laughs> Yo. Get your sexy not for nothing, y'all niggas was dumb sweaty. Like <laughs> that was cardio for y'all niggas. They were going hard too. Bruh. You remember? They were going so hard in the hallways. Bruh. At parties, you guys took that shit serious for real they was legit having club meetings like <laughs> dj club music uh meetings like the fuck that was ah oh, man that a, what a to time to fucking practice dancing like sick. what a time um yeah that's that's the throwbacks we're talking about the dances and um let's get into a music take so we can wrap this up for today um new music by young thug punk um i, I heard a little bit of this it's giving me very much I don't know. It's 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 new. It's a new sound for him, mm -hmm. and you know he he's very versatile. Young Thug's very versatile, but um, I'm very fresh with it. I don't want to give you guys a full blown mm -hmm. digest, but I do want to say I'm not a big fan of beats sounding the same um, with everyone. You know, everybody yeah, has the same same drums, same type of yep. melodies. It's a few of those, but I I see a pattern. I know Young Thug created it, but let's. Experiment Stop. more, you know what I mean? Yeah, in a different sound, in a different realm. And nothing to do with the project. I've fresh listened to the project, but from listening to the project and to see where it's going, I can tell that like people are still stuck in their ways when it comes to like drum kits and metronomes and samples and all that. So it's 
if you're a new artist, um, try to mix things up. Don't try to sound the same and right. experiment a little bit. It won't hurt. All right, I think that's it for today. Wait, before we go, I want to ask the audience a question. So is it childish to not fart in front of your partner? No, it's not childish. It's, <laughs> it's etiquette. <laughs> in what way? All right. First of all, where are we? All right. If we're, if we're in bed, all right, if we're just both laying down, might be, might be comfortable, right? So you might not want to get up. So I understand that. Keep it, keep it a secret if you can. Like, you know what I mean? Like kind of uh, ease it out. No. I don't want to really expound on this because it's kind of crazy. But um, yeah, if I, like if we're in bed, I guess ease it out. It's not weird. But if it's like you're standing up and you can walk away, walk away. Like, come on. That's, just, that's crazy. Why would you just stand there and do that? You're a nasty person. Oh, oh, my God. So where do you suggest a person go if they have to fart in front of their partner? Or to avoid? Like I said, if you're, if you're in the same vicinity. If you're in bed. If you're in bed, I wouldn't suggest getting up. Okay, you let it go. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> just don't be all, like, crazy, you know, leg up and all that shit. <laughs> Kind of just let it go, and if it can't be heard, perfect. <laughs> if it's heard, be like, I'm my, my bad. You know what I mean? Okay. That's it. Is that is that all? <laughs> yes, that is all. All right, cool. Um, this has been us. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, like I said, um, we're war with ourselves. We're war with everybody outside. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace. <laughs>